Or one. We should fall back. No. We got this. I called in reinforcements. Who did you call in? This is the greatest plan! <laughs> oh, this should be so <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, the reason why I did this is because I seem to have noticed that my first video, my first Battle Cats build, with my custom cats seem to be doing really popular. So, so you're doing better than my other videos. It's got like over 30 views, which just blows my mind. So basically, if the idea is that I'm planning to do an episode with Draco where he shows how to build this Black Hawk, and I show how to build these Henry Stickman cats I've made. We've got Charles here with his red headphones, and we've got Ellie here with her red hair. And black headphones, red hair. Yeah. <laughs> I also have, this is supposed to be Logan's Rebel Trooper, who I've done in the first one. He kind of looks like military, so I put him in the plane. And same with Ma, the cat at pilot from my cat at if I remember where I put it. Um, here it is. Yeah, the cat at. Like, there we go, the cat at. The pilot's supposed to be in there, so... Yeah, I'll show you how to do that and more custom characters because it seems like that's the most popular is the customs. I think I have no idea what makes the first one so popular. I'm pretty sure it's the customs. That's why I'm planning to do more customs. If all my Battle Cats videos, grand total, the four of them, which is the past three and this one, get to a total, grand total of yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's the idea. If grand total, all my videos, the all four of my Battle Cat build videos, seventy five views. Tell your friends about it. If they, I don't even need likes. I just need the views. To be honest, because that's how I know how well it's doing, and know I will create more for you guys. And so I'll get them out of the way. That wasn't the point of this episode. This episode, we are gonna finish up. The basic cats. So, we all the basic esque cats from Empire of Cats Chapter 1. We did. Hold on. We did. I'm trying to figure out. We did the tank, axe, basic. And we also did ninja. Where's Gross? Oh, here you go. Gross. So, this time we're going to do... This time we're going to do the rest of the basic normal cats that I've created, like cow, fish, um, uh, we also have dragon, wall, uh, UFO, Gamatoto, we also have the Macho, we have a lot of basic cats to still go through. Anyways, and yeah, so we're going to do these guys so that you can complete most of your basic cats. I think the only basic cats I'm missing is Lizard, Titan, Mythical Titan, uh, bird, giraffe, oh, cow cat's slightly broken, uh, hold on, there we go, I found the piece, pop, ha, ah. okay, so, let's move these guys back, and line them up nicely, yeah, well, actually, now I think about it, we did get my Toto already, so, yeah, <laughs> whoops, I didn't, in the, I'm not sure if I did him in the first or the second video, but I remember doing him. So, yeah. So we just have the six. All right, well, that'll make things easier. So let's get things done. I will move the other cats all out of the way. We're going to start with the Macho Cat. So, 
What you'll need is you'll need both the platform formula to memorize and the basic battle cat formula. If you don't remember that, go back to my first video and you will should see it at the start. So you're going to need the basic platform. You're going to need two of these white arms. Bionicle arms. There's small bionicle arms, like robot arms, but thicker. You're also going to need four light gray studs. Oops. Four light gray studs. Two cat ears, as I call them, or one by one by two slants. Two cat eyes. Make sure the eyes are black. You're also going to need a two by two flat with bumps, as I call it. You're going to need a one by two flat, and you're going to need this special one by one with the side grip. You're going to need two of them. So, if you remember the basic battle cat formula, it's mostly like that, where it's the four studs in the center, not counting the eyes, because you don't want to accidentally make it so the feet are different colors, because that would look funny. Four studs, the two by two, cat eyes, and then you will want your number one, your number two, like that, and then there's just the back. So, what you'll need to do is you want to put the funny one by ones out so they are on his sides, like shoulders. You want them at the side like this. Then you're going to want the, t the remaining flat piece on top, and then you're going to want to put the arms on. Now, Carefully pay attention how I put the arms on. I put them on so that they're on, and then I lower them. Just enough so that the macho cat can hug himself. See how low they are? I know it's kind of hard to tell because it's white on white, but it's pretty low. Because if you have him too high, like with this arm, he can't really hug himself. His arm only goes out this close to the body. If you have too high, then it'll just look funny. Like... This. This just looks strange. So you want to have it nice and low, but not too low to the point where it falls off. Like so. And you're done! So that is the Macho Cat. Next... We have, we're going to do the wall cat. <laughs> so, the wall cat is another simple one. You're going to need the basic platform, four gray studs, you will also need three two by fours, one, two, and three, then you'll need two cat eyes, Two of the cat ears, as I call them. You're also going to need a 1x2 flat, a 1x4 flat, three 1x2s, two, and then a 2x4 flat with bumps. So, now what you're going to do is you're going to take the base platform, you're going to put the feet on, but you're going to make sure the feet go on the edges. Like, I will put them on and then show you. Like this. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the flat on. The reason why you want to do this is to divide the legs from the main body, just not to cause problems. I find it simpler. You can choose to or to not do it. I find it's easier to do it. Then you stack the 2x4s. And then with the 1x2s, you want to almost make a C. So, like, if you put it down facing and then turn sideways, it's like a C now. So then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fill inside that C with the cat eyes. And then you're going to want the 1x4 to go at the far back, like this. 
Then you're going to want the 1x2 in the center, then the cat size on the rim. Like so. You've created the wall cat. He can now join your forces. Next, we are going to do cow cat. So, for cow cat, you are going to need... One of my for shadow formula, except this is different. Because it's the cow cat's larger, instead of having a 4x4, four four, you're going to need a 4x6. You're also going to need... Four one, regular 1x1s, one one, two cat eyes, four 1x1s one with this special little dot in the side, in just the one side. You need four of them. This is different than the cat eyes because the cat eyes have the indented dot, as you can tell. Well, these ones don't. So then you're also going to need. Two white horns, like, these are really small, this, and then you're going to need two 1x4s, four, two sorry, two 2x4s, two you're going to need a 1x2 that has this special piece here, the connection clip almost I call it, then you're going to need two cat ears, and then you're going to need this special extension where it's uh, one by two by two, slanted, flat. And then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take the shadow, put the four regular, oops, regular, one by fours on, and you want them almost like in a serpent, uh, pattern almost like so in the center. You, it doesn't matter how you do it, as long as it, you do it similar to this. It can be like this. Uh, you could do it the other way. Okay, so now then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the 2x4, place it, it on top like this. Then you're going to want to put the next 2x4 right here like this. With the back piece here. Excuse you, Draco. Just don't mind Draco, he's behind me. A little busy. So then you're going to want the 1 by 2 back here. Then you're going to want the cat eyes. Like so. Cat eyes like so. You want to make sure they're out in the front. Then you're going to want to stack the remaining 1 by 1s and the side, almost like ears. Like so. Then you're going to want to put the two, one by two by two flat slanted on top of the eyes. And now, don't mix this up, I've done this before. You want to make sure the cat ears are on the lower stud of each side with the lowest part facing down, like this. Then you're going to want to put the horns in Make sure the whole tip is facing up like so. Ta-da! You have your cow cat. Next. Oop, wrong file. Oops. Haha. <laughs> okay. Next, we'll do UFO cat. How long is this going for? 14 minutes. Okay, we still got a lot of time. Yeah. So we're going to be doing the UFO cat. So I'll quickly show you to do that. Hey, right, so you're going to need my Shando formula. You're going to need the basic battle cat formula, minus the legs. You're also going to need this silver clip, 2x2 two two flat, with bump. You're also going to need two 2x2 two two in see-through white pieces, a one see-through white cylinder. You're also going to need four of those arms that the macho cat has. And you're going to need a 2x2 two two flat with bumps. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the ba these, not the basic head, you want to take these two see-through places and stack them. Then you're going to want to put 
the in the see-through cylinder on top. I'm not sure if you can see it because it's see-through. Ha 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 ha. My bad. Then you're going to want to be smart about this. What you're going to do is you're going to take this the silver. You could also use light gray instead. I just decided to use silver. You could use light gray. Uh, you're going to want the clip piece. You're going to want to put it on the 2x2 two two, like so. Then you're going to want to attach the arms. You want to make sure. So if you can see the cylinder here has... The cylinder here has like little arrows. You can sort of see them. What you want to do is you're going to want to put those four. Yours might not have it. Just make. If not, then just basically. You want to normally put them on the arrows, but if they don't have arrows, then kind of just do it like this. Where there's a gap between them. You'll know you're doing it right if it kind of looks like a weird trampoline. Then what you're going to do is you're going to want to put the basic head. On top, you're really you. That's gonna be really difficult though, unless you. Ooh, I screwed up already. <laughs> yeah, one thing I realized I screwed up with is you want to make sure that the corners and the arms aren't in the same place, because then you can't lower the arms, and if you can't lower the arms, you can't put the head on. I just realized that. I've never had that problem before, so something to point out to all you builders. I have my bad. So like this, and then you want to put the head on top, like so. So then once the head's on, you just attach it on, like here, and you lower these arms to almost as if it's grabbing the invisible box. Boom! You have UFO cat. Now we just have dragon and fish left. We'll do fish, then we'll do dragon. Alrighty. Alrighty, so you're going to need the shadow piece. You're also going to need the 2x2 uh, two two flat. You're going to also need... Got it. Alright, so you're also going to need four 1x1s. You're also going to need one 1x2. One you're also going to need a 1x1 one one with the side stud, not indented. You're also going to need the usual two cat eyes. You're also going to need two one by two flats with bumps. You're also going to need four cat ears. You're also going to need three one by two with a single <coughs> bump. Uh, correction, make that six cat ears. I just realized there's two more. You're also going to need uh, one by one by one flat with no bump. Uh, one by one flat with bump. You're also going to need one by two flat with this side grip that goes up. And then you're also going to need a one by two flat with this side grip. Although it's inverse grip and still. Alright, so to build it, the fish cat, you're going to need to take the regular one by ones and place them on the same way you would with the cow cat. They're almost in a snake pattern, somewhat down the center, like so. Like so. Then you're going to put the 2x4 flat on top. Um, like so. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the 1x2 with the, with the up grip. Or up grab, as I call it. You're going to want to put it at the back end. And then you're going to want to take the one by the regular flat one by twos with bumps and stack them on top of that back piece, like so. Then you're going to want to take the one by two and place it right in the center of what's left, so you have it like this. Then you're going to take the two one by ones with sides and put them here and here. Like so. 
that you're gonna want to take the two cat eyes and put them ears, not eyes, ears, and put them on like so, so that they're facing towards the head. Then you also want to add the eyes when this thing's not shifting, like so. Now you're going to want to make sure that you put the one by twos with the one stud on top, all three of them, on the top of it, but close to the back, like so. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the one by one by ones. You want to stack them, make sure that the flat, the one that doesn't have the stud is on the top, and put it in the middle. Then you're going to want to put here and here, like that. And then you're just going to want to do. Hold up, this doesn't seem right. No, wait, I didn't screw up. I thought I did because there's this piece, which is actually the tail. You attach it to the back end, like so. You want to make sure that this is down low enough, though, so that it can't wiggle too much. Boom. You've now created Fish Cat. Just make sure the top fins align ne nicely, and you're good to go. Now we just have the Dragon Cat. Alrighty. We'll get it started. Alright, so you're going to need the Shadow Formula. You're going to need the basic battle cat head formula, except the ears are backwards this time. So they're at the back instead of the front. You're also going to need a ridiculous amount of one by ones with side grips. It doesn't matter if they do or don't have indents. I recommend if they do, except if you're low on them, like I am, so I had to get very creative with how I did it, which kind of makes it look crappy. But at least two of them have to be cat eyes. And I'll show you why what I'm building. But it would look better if they're all cat eyes. The reason why is because this bottom piece makes it almost like it has a not that much of a divide between them. So it gives that really cool texture. But I'm not going to nitpick. You're also going to need two 1x2s reverse slanted. Oops. Up slanted. You're also going to need three 1x2 beige instead of white, like tan flats with no studs. You're also going to need two 1x1x1 one by one by one side grips. You're also going to need this strange piece. I think it is called, uh, hold on, let me back. This strange piece. I think it's like, uh, I've used it before with the hypo. I don't know what it's called. It's almost like a giant ear. You're also going to need a 1x2 with the side grip down hanging. You're also going to need a 2x3 flat with bumps. And a 2x2. So, now to put it together. You're going to need to put... You're going to need to take the 1x2 slanted and place them like so. So that they're separate so it looks like a walking animation but they're closer to the front and in the middle. Then you're going to want to put the 2x3. Then you're going to want to make sure that this 2x2 two two is close to the back as you put the first pair of the first parts that's supposed to attach. So like the grips with the tan piece. The reason why I did it the way I did is because I ran low in pieces, so I had to get creative because I didn't want to take apart any of my cats. So, then what you're going to need is you're going to need the, definitely the two cat eyes with the tan piece. Like so. One thing you need to be careful with is on the back, you're going to want to take the two one by one by ones with, si with grip and almost pop it in. Like uh, uh, so. Ta da! Those are supposed to be just like those little arms. And then you put the remaining one by ones with side it on top, the side studs. Put the top on, put the head on, make sure the head is outward. And then you just want to add the tail. So the tail is basically where you take the remaining two pieces, put them together, make sure that the, the slant is going downward, and just attach to the back, like so. 
You've now made Dragon Cat. Huzzah! That, my friends, is all the basic cats you need. If you are missing any cats, be sure to check out the playlist. You'll probably find all the other cats I've done so far there. I'm just trying to neatly place these guys. And so yeah. We're 25 minutes in. Okay, so that's all the basic cats. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you made great progress the cat army. And I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye. Actually, before we say goodbye, one other thing I'm going to mention is that in the uh, number five, I'm also going to do the special characters. You've kind of seen the intro. Uh, myself and Sir Dodge, who's supposed to be like a dog knight. I'm supposed to be like a Roman cat soldier. Anyways. Yeah, I'll also do that if you want to check that out when I do number five. So, yeah. Anyways, later!